The chip's gone. What chip? The AI core. It was in the vault last night, and now it's gone. You know, I don't touch vaults. I don't know. But you were here last night. Mog say so. We both know that you've lifted things before. Nothing that hot. Even kind, not that stupid. Fine. Then how would you explain this? Careful. Accusations like that get people boned. If I trace the chip to you, yeah. Well, then maybe I deserve it. Or maybe someone's trying to get you to look the wrong way. Hey, what's up? My name is Matt Workman, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about my work in Unreal Engine 5.6 since the new release has come out. So I'm working on a project called CamOp Simulator, and as you can see here, uh, I'm operating uh, Camera Live, so this is like a live Unreal Engine game slash app, and we have two metahumans here acting out a scene, and we're just going to kind of follow them around. That is the entire goal of the app. So, so far I've updated to 5.6 in this project, and these are two of the new metahumans. These are both just full presets, but they are using parametric bodies, which is new. Uh, for the clothing, these aren't technically outfit assets, though I could turn them into them. They were made by using the combined skeletal mesh feature in metahuman creator that's built in now. I brought those into Marvelous Designer, and I built these two outfits really quickly. Like, you know, the, her outfit's just a t-shirt, his with the jacket and the collar. That took me a couple hours. Uh, from there, I just did some Substance Painter texturing, and, you know, everything's working great, and skinned it in Maya. Though the new workflow, we just kind of skin it on Unreal Engine, but that is um, not the workflow I'm doing at the moment. So for the mocap, this is Vicon Motion Capture. I'm performing both uh, roles here, and using, again, Vicon for the body, and using an iPhone uh, 12 mini, using the new Live Link Face update that has the MetaHuman Animator mode in it. Uh, from there, I did the ingest workflow where I used the iPhone footage as basically mono video footage. There's no depth data, I believe, getting used for that. Their eyes is something I'm always looking for. If you look at their eyes, uh, you should see the eye light from their key light and both actors' faces. That's something that I'm usually going for here. And their grooms are at uh, essentially cinematic LOD1, so they're a little bit decimated. And I am running this on a PC. However, I'm not using Lumen GI or Lumen Reflections, in this case, just for a little bit of performance. Uh, I want to note that this is running, again, Unreal Engine 5.6. We're using um, two point lights or three point lights to light this scene. No virtual shadow maps. Um, and again, no Lumen GI, no Lumen Reflection. So this is just like straight, um, I don't know, kind of like old school direct lighting uh, for, the for the scene here. And we're playing this in full 4K in editor because packaging is unfortunately broken in Unreal Engine 5.6. Uh, with MetaHumans, this is a documented bug that you know hopefully is fixed in 5.6.1. But I'm really interested moving forward, despite all the issues and rough spots of using a new build. I'm very interested in using the new MetaHumans, of course. That is like kind of what drives this project for me is making these somewhat believable cinematics here, light them as fun, and then have someone operate the camera live. I feel like this is the closest thing we're gonna get to being able to practice operating a camera with MetaHumans in 5.6.1. So I'm down for the ride of all the bugs and all the problems, and I'm sure in 5.6.1, this packaging problem with the, the DNA plugin or whatever will get resolved. However, I am really happy with the new uh, MetaHumans, and if we want to use the new MetaHuman animator, which I think makes the facial animation look uh, better right out of the gate, we do need to use the new MetaHumans here. And this is my first test, uh, really using 5.61 in production for games, for apps, and then putting MetaHumans through their paces as far as mocap for the body, mocap for the face, and clothing, given my you know, my level of skills for building clothes and doing metahuman animation. So that is uh, the update for this. And I know everyone hates the audio and the script for this, but that is not um, my true specialty here. I'm really more about getting the mocap and setting up the app and whatnot. And then maybe someday for this project, I can actually hire actors and have, you know, normal voices and have a bit more of a story. But for now, uh, people just have to deal with, you know, my 
my version of the story, my version of the actors and whatnot, but I am still really happy with what is possible in Unreal Engine 5.6 right now.